Hello everyone! I'm going to be showing you how to set up your Maya document to be able to do layout and animation. First thing, we're going to start by changing this grid size from centimeters to feet. To do that, you go to Windows, Settings, Slash Preferences, Preferences. And then you go to Settings, and then you go under Working Units, Linear, you're going to change that centimeter to foot. I'm going to hit save and close. Next thing, you're going to add one of the characters into this by referencing. To do that, you go to File, Reference Editor, and then Inside Reference Editor, File, Create Reference. From here, you're going to navigate to wherever you have the models saved. And I'm going to import, uh, well, yeah import our enslaver and you're going to click reference. And there he is. He should be, all the characters should be to the right scale and sizing. If they're not, we're going to have to talk to modeling about that. One other problem that I do have with these characters for now is that they are not properly parented. So everything is disattached. So if you try to move the character by just grabbing his body or his arm, it's not going to work. So I suggest dragging over this character, creating an empty layer, and putting him into this layer. And don't forget to name around you. It's going to be a big mess. Even though we only have three characters, it's always helpful. So I'm going to give this guy a name. And then one more thing about the reference editor is if you're working with multiple characters and you don't want this character in it, um, you can just simply uncheck him and he will not appear. And you can just bring them right back. Next thing for the cameras. So when you create a camera, obviously it comes in itty bitty because you changed your settings from centimeters to feet. So you can just scale this up and it won't make any difference. It just helps you to see the camera icon. Uh, also, I would name your camera based off of the naming convention for our files. So for example, for if I was doing my scene, I would do sc04 underscore 001, which means I'm doing scene four shot one. And then after that, I'm going to type main. So now I know that this camera is for this shot in this scene, and it's my main camera. To help me better see it, I'm going to look through this camera. And then if you want to turn on your resolution gate, you can click on this little tiny icon up here, which is a thin rectangle outlined in white with a blue circle in the middle. If you hit that, you can now see what will be rendered out. Obviously, this is not the correct sizing for our movie. So up on little slapstick with the gear, you can click that. And this is your render settings. If you scroll down to image size presets, you can click and go down to HD 1080. Now, some of you guys are going to have a different size, so make sure that you look at that in the animatic and in the notes. And if you have any questions about that, you can either ask me or you can direct it towards the animatic storyboarders themselves. Some of you guys will have a 1920 by 800, and it looks more like this. And the rest of us is going to have the standard 10, uh, one standard 1920 by 1080, which is this one. And then make sure, again, to save your files under the naming convention of SC0 scene number underscore whichever frame slash part you're working on. We need to stay consistent and all together on this so that when we put them all together into one document, um, it makes it life of the editors a lot easier. I hope this was helpful to you guys. And again, if you have any questions, feel free to ask. Good luck.